uh, literally. Uh, following year, uh, we provided laptop computers uh, to young people who did not have uh, any type of internet access or was not able to use computers at home. So the one place on part a year ago that as we prepared to go forward that we desired to pull our families out of poverty one person at a time. And we wanted to make a difference uh, and providing home ownership. We know that um, the great American dream, you know, is to have and own your own home. For the majority of persons, uh, because of particular reasons, that dream has been deferred. And so as we began to share with um, our leadership uh, and our officers and the church, we desired to come up with a creative way where we as the church would be able to sponsor a gift a home program. And that is when the wonderful Ms. Madsen stepped in, uh, partnering with the City of Savannah Neighborhood Improvement Association, because uh, again, we did not believe that he had been in the wheel. And as Ms. Madsen began to guide us as a church family, she said that one of the greatest obstacles to home ownership is the down payment. And so, you know, through much prayer and counsel, we challenged the church and we decided that we would step up to the plate and that we would provide that down payment in the amount of $10,000 to a family uh, that would be able uh, to share in a brand new home. So I'm going to allow Ms. Gansett to step in and talk about that the Neighborhood Improvement Association partnered with the faith-based organizations to help individuals understand the home buying process, not only give them the education, but the training and knowledge they need to get them from point A to point B in home ownership. So I was delighted when I was approached by the church to work with members of their congregation to get them home ownership ready. Um, each member that they submitted to participate in the class came to our eight-hour training class. We went through credit information, down payment assistance information, different ways, and helped them get to the next level. Um, part of that selection was Ms. Mika Hopper. She attended the class with all the training models, and from that point on, she was awarded her $10,000 from the church. So it was an honor that we were able to partner with the church um, and provide this type of assistance to individuals in the community. Ellison, who is attending the National 
celebration in Washington, D.C., along with many other of our members. We are pleased to announce that our beloved sister of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority, which boasts a membership of well over 250,000 college-educated women, will observe its 100th anniversary by hosting a centennial celebration on the local level, which began last Sunday, January 6, 2013, with the opening of a gallery exhibition entitled Celebrating 100 Years, Delta Sigma Theta at the Beach Institute African American Cultural Center. The exhibition will be open through January 27th. We invite you as a community to visit the JV and Moselle Clements Gallery at the center and view the historical items from our local chapters. The sorority was founded on January 13, 1913 by 22 young poets on the campus of Harvard University in Washington, D.C. You may be aware of the illustrious history of our organization and the public service emphasis fostered by our 940 chapters throughout this nation and in England, Tokyo and Okinawa, Japan, Germany, the Virgin Islands, Bermuda, the Bahamas, and the Republic of Korea. We are all simply ecstatic as we eagerly anticipate having the opportunity to share this centennial celebration on the local level with our Savannah community. The Savannah Alumni Chapter will join with the Delta New Chapter at Savannah State University and taught Alpha Chapter at Armstrong Atlantic State University to continue this centennial celebration at the Founders Day Observance this coming Sunday, January 13, 2013, at 4 p.m. at the historic St. Philip <coughs> Church, located at 613 Martin Luther King Boulevard. And we invite you to join us. On Saturday, March 23, 1913, we will sponsor a reenactment of the Women's Suffrage March, which took place in Washington, D.C. on Pennsylvania Avenue on March 3, 1913. The Suffrage March was the first of public service initiated by the sorority only two months after its founding. We want you to know that Delta Sigma Theta Sorority was the only African American organization participating in the March for Women's Voting Rights. <coughs> the Savannah chapter will march from Forsyth Park to City Hall on March 23rd. And we are inviting local and area women's and girls groups and other organizations to join us and celebrate the accomplishment of the enfranchisement of women in this country. And we invite you and the citizens of Savannah to join us for a celebration that is 100 years in the making. We believe it will be a spectacular and memorial centennial celebration of our beloved sisterhood, and we look forward to having you celebrate with us. We thank you all for receiving us this afternoon. Thank you so much.
there is a place in the front of the line that I can be a part of um, during that march on March the 23rd. And I'm going to say that all the time, March the 23rd, 2013, in our city, I am so delighted that you all came for your celebration and then to bring this news that this is going to take place in our city. Thank you all so much. Count me in. All right. Alderman Johnson. Thank you, Madam Mayor. And certainly, um, <laughs> whenever you see good things happening in our community, oftentimes there's a delta associated with it. Um, I don't know if you smile. I was just Just this week, um, I was with Sarah Jackson and uh, Simmons um, with a group of young black males in their body folks. Uh, this is things they're doing that are not, you know, publicized and stuff that they do. And they believe in that. And certainly all of these ladies are involved in some um, great way in our community. And you know, there's thousands of them. I mean, there's probably thousands here and there, a bunch in D.C. And I'll be in D.C. this weekend. Um, and my wife is in, in D.C. I know her. She's a Delta. <laughs> I see you hating, but I'm loving on the side.